this lesson, I'm going to present a very, very good exercise that I learned from Mr. Mike Marshall himself. And this is like an open string study, and I call this picking hand 100%. What we're doing, we're playing like open string, open strings only, meaning we are not fretting any note with our left hand. And what this is doing, it brings awareness to our picking hand 100%. It's only this hand that is working. And, we, and there's a couple of patterns, four, four note patterns that we're doing in a sequence. So let me show how you can improve your right hand technique by doing this open string studies. MandolinSecrets.com What's up? My name is Magnus and I help mandolin players just like you take their playing to the next level. And if you're new at a channel, please subscribe. I have new videos like this coming out every week. And if you hit that bell notification button, you will get notified as soon as I publish a new video. A little tip there. And sheet music and tabs for this lesson you find in Mandolin Secrets Academy. Here we go. <laughs> So let's get started and I can say immediately that this exercise will be much easier to follow if you actually have the sheet music and tabs in front of you. Because what we're doing, we're playing the open strings. So we're ma maintaining the down up pick picking pattern for all these exercises. It's alternate picking like this. And I, I like to do this with a metronome. I can now set it to 60 beats per minute. So do, really do this in practice tempo. You can hear it. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm dividing it like this. Also, oh, sorry. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm really listening to my tone here so I can I get a full sound out of the mandolin. And it's four notes and I'm first picking one open string for A and then three and then I'm continue with the next variation that is two A's and two E's. And guess what? The next variation is three A's and one E. So those three variations in a row would be like this with a metronome. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We have four more variations. It's looking like this. I'm thinking of this like one, one, two, two. One, one, two, oh sorry. One, one, two, two. The next one is two, one, one, two. Then one, two, one. And then going one, one, one only. So in total, it's actually seven variations that I'm doing. I'm doing it with a metronome and you can have a listen. And as I said, it's easier to follow if you have the tabs in front of you. 
One, two, three, four, here we go. That is like a complete round of this open string studies. I learned it from Mike Marshall and this has really improved my playing a lot. And then what you want to do the same kind of um, like same kind of routine but also going from this, the E to the A. And if you're looking here in the tabs you can see that it's it's actually well, it's the, it's the same kind of patterns, but just doing starting on the E string instead. So it looks like this then. One, two, three, four. So until the point where you have learned the routine, this will only sound like but there's a very specific pattern that I'm following and it's quite easy to memorize actually once you get into it. It's about like taking one piece at a time and adding it to the next one. So in a period of 10 days, I think you want to memorize this whole sequence. Okay? And then the idea is also you're going to do this for the other string pairs as well and also in other in different tempos. This is such a good way to bring awareness to your right hand and this is actually where the music is happening. So pay a lot of attention to this exercise. I'm going to demonstrate it also on the strings D and A and you can see how it sounds. So coming here for the strings D and A. One two and one two three four So the same thing, but only on DNA. And what this does, it's really like letting you play all variations that is on these strings. So it's a very powerful exercise. And I also want to encourage you, once you can do this on all strings, etc., you also want to try to do it with a bigger movement. Going, example, from this D string to E string. This is going to make the hand move even further like this. So same kind of patterns but only over larger string spacing. This is also written uh, as a variation here in the tabs. And the biggest challenge is going to be going from E G string to E string, like or E to G even, like. Oh, sorry. You can see I can even like let this hand go, holding it like this, because we're re actually putting all our attention to the right hand here. Okay, that's it for this lesson. A very simple one, but it's not easy, I can tell, but it's really gonna pay off if you start doing some open string studies like this. And also challenge yourself to go 
like crank up the metronome, maybe even to 80 or 100 beats per minute, see how you can catch up. And as I said, it becomes much easier if you have the notation and the tabs for this. Please let me know in the comment section if you also are doing some open string studies to improve your mandolin playing. It's a very powerful thing. Let me know, and if you're not doing it, I suggest you start doing that today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And until next time, have a good time, and see you in a new video soon. Bye for now.